So yesterday was fun. Uh, I did go to breakfast with the jams and I got to go over clean us for a little bit and say hi. I went and picked up my gifts from my Uncle Mike and Aunt Petty's house. The wind is blowing so hard. It's making noises in here. Anyways, uh, Gabe from Portland, our friend, came over too and we had fun hanging out with him. It's good catching up and chatting with him. I always enjoy that. Um, after that, we ordered food from CPK, California Pizza Kitchen. It was delicious. And uh, I passed out at about 8.20, I passed out. Uh, I was super tired and exhausted. <sighs> yeah, today is a get things done day. So I've been in the office all morning and I've been trying to finish my editing and respond to emails and fun things like that. Um, after that, I don't know where I'm gonna do. I need to sort through all my Christmas gifts and stuff and put things away. So that's probably what will happen. Exciting, right? Hi, it's about three o'clock now, which means I need to leave soon uh, for my elopement. Um, I have not cleaned the office at all. Uh, instead, I've been transferring pictures from my iPhone to my computer, which my eye, well, it's not called iPhotos anymore, it's called Photos, isn't working. It will only take in a few pictures and it won't take in the rest and then it says error for the rest of them so that means i have to go to my iCloud and select one at a time if you click off of one you lose all the ones you selected so then i have to go back and reselect them and then i have to hit download so then i have to download them to my downloaded folder and then i have to transfer them to my folder that's called um i think it's called imported from iphone and then I put them into each day. So then I have to go through and select just that day's pictures, transfer it to that day. It's very frustrating. These are the troubles that I go through with vlogging. Also, I checked on my vlogging and the last date I vlogged was October 30th. <laughs> I, um, I should probably get to vlogging or editing my vlogs. I do vlog every day, but editing my vlogs, it's been crazy. I'm honestly really excited for the new year. Are you guys excited for the new year? I am. I'm so excited. I find myself having to force myself to be super excited for holidays just in December. This is when I'm the most uh, depressed, if that's what you want to call it. It's seasonal depression. That's what I like to call it. Because I have to force myself to have a smile, force myself to interact with people. And it's like, I don't want to force myself. I just want to go do the things that I would normally do. It's just that... With the days being so short, with the light and everything like that, it's hard for me. It's super, super hard for me. And throughout my years, I've realized that um, it's a serious thing, and I just need to get over it. Yeah, and, and also I haven't been to see my counselor in probably a month. Yeah, I think it's been a month. Oh, gosh, that's just crazy. I need to see her really badly. And then maybe I'll be in a better mood. Yeah. But I'm looking back at all my pictures and I'm like, wow, I had a really good December. But from my eyes, I know that I suffered a lot in December. And a lot of those smiles are forced smiles. And a lot of those days are forcing myself to get out of bed and move on with my life. And I feel like if I don't force myself to do it, I'm going to miss out on so much of life. And I don't like missing out. I have fear of missing out. It's a real thing. You guys should check it out. Anyways. I'm excited for it to be January and then I'm excited for it to be February and then March and April and so on and so on because that means that the days will be longer and the sun will stay out longer and it means we're almost there to it being over. So I'm just looking forward to the positive and that is December is almost over. Can't wait. And then I'll be in a better mood constantly because I just like the daylight. I feel like I can get so much done in the daylight. But like nowadays I'm just counting down until five o'clock when it's dark. And then it just puts stress on me. And I don't like stress. And I don't like anxiety. I don't like any of those things, okay? So yeah, in the past few years, I've hid this from you. But this year was all about being me and truth and things like that. So this is really what it's like, okay?
Oh, that means stop, Jenna. Jenna and I just finished uh, photographing the elopement. No, hey, get over here. Sorry. So come here. Jenna just knows everybody. Hi. Look at, see, now you're saying how you feel. How am I supposed to know if you're being serious or not serious? <laughs> what level are we on? Three? Nope, two. We we're on two. All right, Jenna and I just finished up the elopement, and now we're in Detroit, and it's cold. Hey, Miranda. Hey. I don't think my tongue on this is going to freeze yet. <laughs> it is. Find out. Finally, it's like 1230 crazy, right? Um, so let's see after the elopement we went to Downtown to get pictures and then they went to punch Roll social and Jen and I went to Lafayette Coney Island yum to get some dinner and Then we went and met um, a few of our friends at Marshall's bar. Um, I think it's like seven mile ish eight mile ish um, so we went there, we had a, Jenna had a few drinks, I had some virgin drinks, and uh, eventually we left there, and then she wanted to stop at Kaju Cafe, which I haven't been there in years. Um, the owner, her friend, um, is uh, retiring, and a new owner is coming in and taking over. Uh, so we stood there for a little while, and I checked out the feather bowling again, and it was just how I remembered it. It's feather bowling, it's very exciting, there's a feather, and, and then the balls go, and it, it you win. Yay. Exciting. So then I took Jenna home and Marv, Tina, and Brian were over there and they were playing Euchre. So I watched them play Euchre for a little bit. We joked a little bit and then I left and now I'm home. I'm tired. Adam spent the day cleaning out the garage. I can't wait to see what he did. He was a busy worker bee. We had a beautiful day today. The weather was gorgeous. It was like 57 I think. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> And uh, he took advantage of it, which I'm really proud of him that he took advantage of it because he's been saying that he wanted to clean out the garage and all that fun stuff. So he did it. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. I'll insert all these clips. It's going to be fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.